And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The question has three parts. Throughout my life, I've had some amazing relationships. Studying the law of attraction and deliberate creation and such, I realized that more focus and more feeling was required because most of these relationships, all of them have faded away. My question is, how much detail is too much detail? In the past, I had the age, the body structure, the hair color, <laughs> the ethnicity. Is that too much detail? The way of gauging it is, be as specific as you can be and still feel good. Okay. Because when you get more specific, then your beliefs will accommodate. You will start feeling bad. If you're not specific enough, it doesn't feel real or energy doesn't really move. But if you get too specific on subjects where you have doubt, then you throw resistance on your trail and you slow it all down. So it really is this evolution of thought from the vibration into an experience or turning thoughts to things. You see, there's the vibration and then the next evolution which we want to call a manifestation mm -hmm. is the thought okay. and emotion that follows right there with it. So if you could accept and agree with and make peace with, if it could be enough, if the thought and the emotion could be enough without all this needing to play out, then as you begin taking pleasure in your thought, pleasure which is the emotional response to the thought as you begin taking pleasure in your thought you gain enough momentum that it has to play all the way out but when you try to get more specific and make it play out before you've got this part in line then what happens is it's like being on a trampoline where you're kind of off kilter and you just keep bouncing off where you don't mean to be does that make sense to you yeah so what we're saying is if you could enjoy with us the idea of a vibration becoming more and the more that it becomes being an idea that just feels good to think about and if for just a little while that could be your only objective just to think about relationships or a relationship and feel good while you're doing it so that you're not introducing the absence of it into the equation because that's the thing that trips you all up I want this thing I do not have I want this thing I do not have I want this thing I do not have and you don't make any headway but if I want this thing I like this thing I enjoy this thing I like this experience I'm taking pleasure from the idea of this then the resistance goes away and the natural progression or evolution of it from thought to full-blown manifestation has to come what keeps wonderful relationships wonderful is a continuing appreciation once the manifestation has occurred okay it's simpler than it seems but it's hard to hear someone crowing about how simple it is to get something that you want and don't have it's like rubbing it in <laughs> we know but as you've heard enough here today to get a sense of what attraction is and what law of attraction is doing and what your relationship with it is so I have some questions for you do you believe that you have lived enough life to have identified as you've been sifting and sorting what you really want in regards to a relationship I feel I'm the first I've ever come I feel there's still a little bit more to go but it's getting pretty close so which feels like the path of least resistance to you I've sifted enough and I know what I want mm -hmm. or I know what I want and I'm just slightly resistant to it I've what's less resistant this yeah. the first one was sifting through all right well then we're going to say it in a few different ways one of two things is happening either you don't really know what you want so you're still in the data collecting phase right or you've collected enough data for 20 or 30 lifetimes and <laughs> you're just out of whack with what you want right so I'm pretty sure I know what I want mm -hmm. 
I need a lot more experiences in order to know what I want what feels like the path of least resistance I'm pretty sure I know what I want we're pretty sure you know what you want too yeah so if you're pretty sure what you want and it's not come to full fruition mm -hmm. then that must mean that you're not a vibrational match to it so now let's sort that out a little bit sure I know what I want but I can't find it I know what I want and I haven't been tuned to it mm -hmm. which feels like the path of least resistance I know what I want I'm not I haven't been tuned to it yeah. yeah so which feels like the path of least resistance I'm not good at tuning to what I want or I can feel when I'm tuning to what I want yeah, I can feel which is a path of least resistance I have no idea what I'm doing to shoot myself in the foot <laughs> or my negative emotion is a clue when I'm shooting myself in the foot sure what's the path of least resistance I need to get what I want in order to feel good I can find pleasure from thoughts even before it comes Sure. it's yeah. getting clear all the time isn't it correct so which is the path of least resistance finding a perfect relationship is really hard I'm in the process of finding a perfect relationship yeah I'm in the process so. which is the path of least resistance it's taking way too long <laughs> <laughs> or I'm right on track okay. let's do that again it's taking longer than I want it to or I'm willing to let it take as long as it takes yeah, yeah. which is the path of least resistance I'm off my path or I'm on my path yeah. which is the path of least resistance I have no clue what I'm doing I'm getting a sense of this which is the path of least resistance I've really made a mess of this I'm figuring this out what's the path of least resistance am I ever gonna find what I want it's unfolding for me now you see what we're getting at right so what's the path of least resistance when I see it I'll know it and then I'll be happy <laughs> <laughs> I can be happy anyway mm -hmm. and then it's logical that it will flow what's the path of least resistance I'm running out of time I have all the time in the world what's the path of least resistance it's urgent it's not urgent mm -hmm. got to do it now all in good time mm -hmm. catch yourself in the act of a thought and ask yourself resistance or open path and then just be more focused about being nice to yourself because you see we don't want you to be nice to yourself so that you can find the relationship you're looking for we just want you to be nice to yourself that's why you want a relationship you want somebody to be nice to you correct so why don't you just be nice to yourself right right be nice to yourself sure and then what you want comes right yeah well on the line then on focusing I tend to be open and available put out that energy I tend to attract females quite regularly do I require being more specific or putting out an energy of something that's not as open or available because I'm looking for that specific person so this is good what's the path of least resistance to shut down the flow right. or to enjoy the flow that's coming sure enjoy the flow that's coming yeah. sure so I've decided to enjoy the flow that's coming so what's the path of least resistance to try to make every single person the one or to oh. just enjoy the company right okay to be collecting the data right okay there's something there that's really worth talking about because what's the path of least resistance I'm the picky one the others the picky one it's a trap be careful yeah <laughs> what feels the best I'm very discriminating about what I want sure. I keep meeting up with others who are so discriminating about what they want 
Het is meer mee, het is meer aanmoedigend. Ja, dat is de manier dat het is. We willen gewoon dat je dat begrijpt. Het is goed voor mij om te weten wat ik wil. Het is goed voor mij om te weten wat ik wil. Wat is de pad van het meeste Dus nu, let's take het uit van de conversatie die je hebt met jezelf. En let's be in the middle of one of those experiences where it's not really what you're looking for and it's happening right now okay because they come easily to you the ones you don't want come easily to you okay okay because that's sort of kind of what you're yeah some degree yeah to every degree okay That is what we're talking about here. Okay. So what's the path of least resistance? To point out what's missing or to acknowledge the good attraction that I have done in part. No, the good attraction. In other words, I see why law of attraction matched me up here mm -hmm. because absolutely. of all of these positive aspects absolutely. rather than oh, as law of attraction lost its mind. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the path of least resistance? Law of attraction only gives me part of what I want mm -hmm. or law of attraction gives me some of everything that's active in me. Sure. Like that. sure. Ooh. Ooh. Law of attraction gives me some of everything that's active in me. Mm -hmm. So what's active in me is wanted and unwanted. Mm -hmm. And why is wanted active in me? Because I think about it. Mm -hmm. Why is unwanted active in me? Because I think about it. Mm -hmm. So isn't it nice that you're getting a ongoing preview of what you've got going on in terms of your thought process? So now we have some questions for you, for all of you, really. Think about this. Oh, this is so good. This is the piece that you've all been looking for. So think about it in terms of this continuum, this evolution between the vibration turning to a thought and an emotion into a relationship or an experience. We are in agreement that what's coming to you is a match to everything that you're thinking That's about. Absolutely. So do you think that the majority of what you're offering vibrationally and therefore what's coming to you mm -hmm. is because of the pondering you're doing when you're just lying in bed or taking a walk or contemplating this, or is the majority of the vibration that you're offering in response to something that you are observing? What's true of most of you is that it's in response to what you're observing, which means you can't get there from here. You can't get to where you want from where you are because what you're observing isn't what you want, but what you're observing is the majority of what you're offering vibrationally. And the majority of what you're offering vibrationally is bringing you more of what you don't want, which you're observing. And so you're just sort of in a holding pattern there, which is what you have kind of been describing. Sure. So isn't it evident that the key to the change is to think more when you're not having the experience than when you are having the experience. Sure. So for a while you're with people and you're just kind of distant and they say, what's on your mind? And you say, not you. <laughs> I'm trying not to lock this in. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Don't do that out loud, but we're just demonstrating right. what we mean. Sure. So which is the path of least resistance? Is it easier to think about what you want when there's nothing to the contrary of it showing itself to you? Mm -hmm. Or is it easier to think about what you want when you're looking right at the contrary of what you want? So we're making a case for more quiet contemplation, more blissfully pleasing yourself with thought, more just playing things out in your mind and less needing the manifestation to be the way that it plays out just for a little while. We're not talking about very long. We're talking about days or a few weeks really of just giving yourself the pleasure of the relief of non-resistance. Okay. Sometimes people will say, we just need a break from each other. And we say, that's a good plan because if you're bucking each other, then you've just got that perpetuation going. And sometimes a break from each other does give you an opportunity to shore up your vibration and get it the way you really want. And then often you can even attract from the very same person, a very different relationship. Once you get hold of your own vibration. Helpful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>